on the screen is another look at the Federation Square Victoria live streaming webcam. And for Friday the 23rd of December 2017, welcome to a further update from the Force 13's Australia Oceania team where the tropical scene is developing. We have two in Vess, one in the South Indian Ocean up in the Banta Sea, just slightly to the north of the country of Java and 93p within the Vanuatu region. Invest 92 is located 7 decimal 4 degrees south, 122 decimal 1 degrees east. Maximum winds at this uh, stage 15 knots, central pressure is uh, 1010 millibars. Let's uh, look at the rainbow imagery, Himawari 8 satellite. The Bureau of Meteorology has a 1,005 millibar low located 11 south, 114 degrees east, and that is to the east of Christmas Island. The Bureau of Meteorology does not have anything on Invest 92S at this uh, stage, and let's see. If they come on board uh, later on this afternoon via their uh, tropical cyclone free day outlook. Although the WA office uh, did say that the 1005 whilst tracking east should dissipate. And this is some uh, tracks on 92. There's no doubt that this information will continue to change. And it's WA uh, heading for their first tropical cyclone for the season. And you can see where the 92S is located. The Himawari 8 view of Southwest Pacific 93P is located 16 decimal 7 degrees south, 174 decimal 0 degrees east. Winds 25 knots, central pressure is 1,004 millibars and 93 should be where you can see that massive uh, convection uh, just to the east of Vanuatu now here's the latest tropical cyclone formation probability guide I'm just keeping an eye on that area to the northeast of Bougainville. The monsoon trough is located 04 degrees south, 09 degrees east. The monsoon trough is from uh, Java right across to the 
Western Highlands of Papua New Guinea. Clockwise winds 15 to 25 knots within 120 nautical miles of the low. And here's the Navy's uh, NAFGEM look. This is the uh, Canadian model and I'm actually leaning towards this model and the GFS. Now we look at total accumulated uh, precipitation and again look at the area in yellow and dark brown rainfall scale is the bottom of the screen and once again it's the area south of Fraser Island Precipitable water, and this is from the Pivotal Weather website. And the intensity uh, scale in the bottom of the screen. Now this is a look at pressure and wind in knots and you can definitely see a 92S there's no doubt that it is going to be a tropical cyclone whilst the models do change uh, Cat 1, Cat 2 system that's yet to be determined Now here's the models uh, tracks and 93P is tracking south east. Here's the Navy's uh, NAFGEM model and intensity scale is the right hand side of the screen and sea surface temperature is above it the upper level divergence for the western region and it's starting to look a little bit more healthier than what it was yesterday up around 30 knots the 850 millibar vorticity and you can see the uh, invest uh, 92 the yellow and the red over java wind shear The deep layer uh, wind shear and one can say looking at the last three images the environment's uh, pretty good for 92S. Now we switch across to the southwest Pacific. Uh, here's an early uh, service chart from the uh, Fiji Met Office over there at Nandi and they have uh, 93p down under the 1000 millibar uh, level and tropical depression a 04 there's the upper level divergence and it's starting to look healthy for 93 wind shear is a bit of a uh, issue 
going by the area in red this is the uh, deep layer wind shear and you can definitely see the high wind shear in red and tropical systems don't like that the A50 millibar vorticity and this one clearly shows the two invest And this is the information from uh, Fiji, Tropical Depression, CO4 was located near 16.2 degrees south, 173.9 degrees east or about 415 kilometres west northwest of Nandi at 7 a.m. local time. It's moving south-south east at about 15 kilometres an hour and it's expected to pass just to the west of Fiji and it's not expected to directly affect the group and there's the uh, forecast for Fiji occasional rain with isolated heavy falls now Sims is now on board information is at the bottom of the screen there's the sea service temperature which is the scale on the right hand side of the screen uh, the wind shear the location of uh, 93p and the red is 30 the brown is 31 celsius now here's the GFS model look at 92s and they definitely have it uh, deepening into a tropical cyclone and this is out to 192 hours this is a Canadian gem model uh, precipitation pressure and this is also out to 240 hours and you can definitely see The possible uh, track of 92S. And this is another look at a webcam down there at Treat Heads. And uh, conditions look pretty good. And now we have a brief look at the thunderstorm activity for this afternoon and into 2200 hours Christmas Eve our next update will uh, start off uh, with uh, uh, more on the uh, thunderstorm activity And here's a look at the inst the instability from uh, 10 a.m. today through to 2200 hours Christmas Eve. And look at that instability right down from the Queensland New South Wales border into Victoria. The Northern Territory, Western Australia, Darwin, Broome, the western side of the Gulf of Carpentaria. And we'll look at storm probability, supercell, rainfall in our next update. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, the channel, search Force 13, all in text, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook at Force 13, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter, that's the handle to contact us there. 
You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F double O L 13, and add extension 9094 on Discord for Tropical Weather Chat.